Okay, today we have made this um, this laser which we've connected to the board. We we made we actually connected it to the board because originally we had um, we had this bit in the front of here with two AAA batteries. So triple A's go in here and this bit screws on the front and this bit on the back with these extra covered pieces but this bit was on the front like here and that lined up with this hole here and um, there was a button sticking through to turn it on and when you pushed it it used to um, turn turn the thing on and when you took your finger off the button it would turn off recently though it had been jamming so you put your finger on the button and you took your finger off and it would jam and to get it to come off you'd actually have to like pull pull the button out of the, its socket so we um, took it out we took the end off and stuff and we we took the thing out first of all we checked it using um, these the AAA batteries that were inside it and this so we got this and we put it on the front and we put it put it like this and turned it on and it worked so we hadn't broken it luckily so we decided to put it on the board but we couldn't think of a way to do it so in the end we tried to solder the this um, this pin with big brass. Uh, to, to solder this a uh, uh, pin to the brass which could go into the board which would then connect to the wire which goes to VCC and this to ground um, it's powered by 12 volts this in fact no, 9 volts 9 volts in fact th these what's the volt when you put two of these triple A batteries uh, into that's it? actually 3 volts yeah. so the life of this won't be very long mm. but when we put the pin on um, of course this brass is meant to keep the heat out of this so that the life of the uh, laser would be longer so in the end we had to actually solder it to the piece so on the board here. So we couldn't heat the brass hot enough to actually solder no, to it? because it was it, it was meant to stay cool so in the end we had to heat actually attach on the bottom here it to one of these pins. Hmm. We, did. we found where it was connected on yeah. the circuit board right and then yeah. we soldered the pin and, to the And we had to solder the back pin to the spring which went onto this end of the battery. Mm -hmm. um, so now that we've, it, we've stuck it on, it works pretty well. So you see over here, it's actually a lot more powerful. Actually, uh, why, why, don't, uh, I, why don't I take the camera and you can shine the LED, you yeah. can shine the laser on the wall and I'll, I'll show. Actually, let me yeah. just hold this up. Um, I'll show. Just don't shine in my eyes. Do it on this wall here. This is in broad daylight. Can you can you shine it somewhere on that wall and I'll show. You hitting the wall? Yeah, there you go. So there, it's like in broad daylight because we we got this super bright laser that's using three it's three times as much voltage as it's supposed to have, and um, LED laser. Okay. All right, I'm going to come back in, walking backwards so I don't look at it. Can we switch it off? be super careful with these lasers right we make sure it doesn't yeah. go in our eyes because before when it was just three batteries i accidentally shined it in my dad's eyes and wasn't very happy so um now we're extra careful it's probably okay briefly but yeah it's not good to no it's not good to do that too frequently so that's the end of this video